Let's say Congress passes a bill or a government agency creates a new rule or regulation. An organization opposes it, so they decide to file a lawsuit. But before they do, they research judges across the country to determine which one may be most likely to rule in their favor based on previous cases. Then they file their lawsuit within that judge's district, within their division, so that judge is likely to hear their case. It happens frequently. It's called judge shopping, and both Republicans and Democrats in the Senate have introduced competing bills to curtail it. I think it should shock the conscience of Americans that people can, in effect, choose justice by shopping for judges and do injustice by simply picking their judges according to what's best for their individual causes. The Republican bill would put new limits on judge shopping in all cases and has added parameters for bankruptcy and patent cases. But it also bans what Republicans see as another problem, nationwide injunctions. The bill limits injunctive relief to the parties involved or people in a similar position within that district. Now that nationwide injunctions are being used against the Biden administration, liberal allies in the academy and in the media have started to target single judge divisions where they think conservative plaintiffs are likely to get favorable ratings from sympathetic judges. The Democratic bill is two pages and says any civil action brought to challenge the constitutionality or lawfulness of any provision of a federal law on a nationwide basis or any provision of a state law on a statewide basis shall be randomly assigned to a judge of the district court in which the civil action is filed. The Democratic bill would codify a rule the Judicial Conference created in March. The federal court's national policymaking body said in cases involving civil actions meant to bar or mandate state or federal action, judges would be assigned through a district-wide random selection process. Senator McConnell called the rule half-baked and wrote letters to chief judges in districts around the country informing them that it is Congress that decides how cases should be assigned, not the judicial conference. Senator Schumer also wrote letters, instead urging the Judicial Conference to stand by their rule. People like to feel that justice is fair and justice is blind, but if you have one judge who is developing a national reputation for being the go-to judge on, on a given political issue, it's pretty obvious that the system of justice is broken. One of the most recent and well-known examples of judge shopping came in the challenge to the FDA's approval of Mifepristone. That case was filed in the Northern District of Texas at the Amarillo Division, even though the organization that filed the case, the Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine, is based in Tennessee. The only judge in that office previously worked for the conservative First Liberty Institute and challenged the Affordable Care Act's contraception mandate. But many instances of judge shopping aren't even political. Judge Alan Albright, based in Waco, Texas, is the busiest patent judge in the country. In 2020, the Western District of Texas heard 22% of the patent cases filed nationwide. Albright heard nearly all of those. According to Temple's Business Law Magazine, cases are filed with Albright because he has a fast-track scheduling order that's advantageous to patentees, and he had, up until that point, never invalidated a patent on eligibility grounds. So you may be thinking, surely if members on both sides of the aisle want this to change, they'll band together and make a bipartisan deal. Maybe not. One of the sponsors of the Republican bill says this late in an election year, it's very difficult to bring lawmakers together. I'm very skeptical about any big stuff getting done for the rest of this Congress. If they've got a consensus bill, I'll take a look at it. But uh, there's, a, you know, there's a lot of activity, but there's not a lot of productivity going on right now that I can, can see.